Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lindsay and I run a small business. So with that comes a lot of moving pieces and not enough time. So my life can be a little chaotic and so can my spaces. So I'm going to be doing a reset. Um, it's not going to be just like a cleaning video, like I'm not just cleaning my house or whatever. I'm going to be also doing like some business resetting, some personal resetting and all of that. Um, but we are going to start with tidying up each of my rooms in my house, just doing a quick tidy and then a quick clean. So it's not going to be like a deep clean or anything, but it just needs to happen before I can really get to the rest of things that need to be reset. I feel like it's it's preventing me from getting there. So we're gonna do it together. If you have something that needs a reset as well, whether it's your house, your personal life, your business, do it with me. I'm so happy you're here and let's get started. Okay guys, major, major behind the scenes. This is my office and look at this nightmare. This is actually semi clean, okay? So you walk in and I have this nightmare closet here that I just throw stuff in and that's going to stay that way for now. But I have this yarn cabinet and I want to re like spool, like look the door is even open, like what, who am I? I definitely have a little bit of ADHD so I just like am high priority all the time like whatever I'm doing in that moment nothing else matters. So if I'm getting yarn out, closing the door, my brain does not think about that, my brain thinks about the yarn. So yeah, I do a lot of like half finished, or, like finished, but then like I don't put stuff away because my brain is on to the next thing. So that's what we're dealing with. The filing cabinet is in the middle of the room because I was taking photos on it of these lanyards. So <laughs> that is a really annoying, but they were looking bad on the fuzzy rug, which is where I usually take my product photos. So that's that. So what we're gonna do is just take care of all this. I'm not gonna give you a rundown of why everything is so crazy um, because I feel the need to, but that would take forever. So just, you know. So this vacuum does not need to be here. This is garbage. Okay, and this has been here forever. This is like random pieces <laughs> for like these little shelf baskets that I bought and I'm not currently using them and I don't want to lose these pieces but they definitely need a better home but right now it's about a tidy so like I kind of just like want to make piles in like spaces that I don't use so like this would be a pile of something that needs to be organized and like this is probably going to go to the basement <laughs> my boyfriend hates it but I like put everything that like needs to do something be somewhere else in the basement and you might think, well, Lindsay, you're not really cleaning. You're just moving your stuff. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> I need to use this office. So this stuff has to move. Okay. So this is going to go to the basement. And then these are yarn that I don't use, or I mean, I use, but not like a ton. And they're all one brand. So it's nice to have them together, um, but they don't fit in my cabinet right now. So maybe when we reorganize the cabinet, they will fit, but I know where this is going to go. We have like a little... Um, TV stand and I'm gonna put this in there. <laughs> you might be like what? But like the cabinet is like empty so let's go. Okay guys, this is how it's looking now. Much better. I still have a little bit of clutter here because like this is a filming thing and the box is there because I don't know if I'm returning it. That box is going to be shipped, used to ship one of my orders today so I'm just leaving it out. And then I have like this, I just don't know where to put those tag pieces. Um, my stuffing is here because it's so big. Ideally like once I get that closet together it would go in there. This is a curtain that needs to be hung up in here. <laughs> Um, but I don't have anywhere else to put it, um, really. I mean, we, we should just like take it back to the basement. So let's take this folded up and take that mirror and just put them in the basement. <laughs> My boyfriend hates me. Okay guys, this is what we call our green room. It's technically our guest room, but we don't have a bed. We moved in a year ago and 
just hasn't been a priority we don't have like a ton of people to come and stay with us like I would say once or twice a year my sister comes and she just brings an air mattress so it's technically like a second office but I feel bad calling it that because then it just feels like I'm taking over the whole house okay the lighting in here is really irritating me let's see okay I was back there so you can kind of see the room but whatever so I feel bad calling it that because then it feels like I'm taking over the whole house but it kind of is what it is I have a shelf in here that kind of houses like stock um, so I have fabric here and like this crochet blanket that I made that is just was like a practice blanket with like leftover yarn so it's not cute but it is it is that um, and I may just like take it to Goodwill and someone can frog it or you know whatever um, but I want to get the rest of my products on here so I have like some space on the top over there where I can put stuff and you can see I have a lot of product sitting here on this table and this table is usually where I print and use my Cricut um, but I haven't used my Cricut lately and I got the thermal printer so I haven't used that either so it's kind of become just like a dumping ground so let me go ahead and just tidy this up. And I wanted to mention that some of these products will be going to the shop and some of them will be getting shipped out. So like this giraffe um, right here and this bunny are going to get shipped out hopefully today. Um, but they don't have to go today and so those don't really need to go on the shelf um, like this chicken is gonna be going to the shop and I don't know when the next shop trip that I'm making is I mean I'm hoping for sometime this week but I'm also trying to like really get a ton done before I go so we will see I'm just gonna try to like lay these on here as best I can so I also find yarn everywhere and that is something I do while I declutter is I like grab yarn and actually put it away. Um, this was from my sister's bridal shower so those are garbage. They were extras. And this is paper. I think that could sit on top. And then I've also been working on some pacifier clips with my sewing machine so it doesn't look like much right now but it'll have like the clip on this end and then this will loop around the pacifier and it connects to the baby's shirt um, but <laughs> there's a lot of trial and error going on with those so you'll see over here this is a sign that there has been a Lindsay here <laughs> I'm gonna keep those and then these are oh this is actually a ribbon thing so like none of this is scrapped. Okay. And I bought this little mini iron and it sucks uh, as I assumed but since I opened it I'm not really sure if I can return it. Okay so I've got a little garbage pile over there and then this is stuff that needs to go on the shelf. Save. These are from my curtains. They send these like little bows around them and when you iron them they're really like ratty right now but when you iron them they are actually really cute i save them for like gift wrapping so i have like eight of them because we keep buying the same curtain and now moving to this side just just a little action that needs to happen this is the real iron that i bought and i think we'll just put it in the box right there so you can see that this is not like an in-depth video of like me tidying my whole life um, or doing anything too crazy but just like you know putting it together a little bit okay guys here's what it looks like now no more stuff all over the floor my shelf is full of office stuff but that's perfect and we're gonna move it to my bedroom okay this is our bedroom it's actually not looking too shabby i have two suitcases here that need to find a home which will be the i know you guys know the basement Good job. I have this blanket that also needs to find a home. Um, and then we have this dresser over here and I pile my clothes on there because I can't get dressed and undressed fast enough and the drawers that I use are broken. So really annoying to pull them out. My stuff doesn't fit. It's a whole thing. So I'm going to put these away. Some of my clothes go in the green room um, because they don't fit in here. And yeah, so just gonna remove those.
These are old picture frames that I actually hand assembled and hand painted. Um, so you can see like I hammered little nails in there and it's very cool but very rustic, <laughs> handmade looking. Um, so I will keep them. They're actually really cool. Um, but I just, they were over there where the gallery wall is and I just removed them like last week. So they will go in a different place. Maybe our bathroom or something. We need something in there. And then my side of the bed, I always have like yarn over here, but I've actually been pretty good the last few days at cleaning up. Um, I have a few little, little knickknacks. Um, we, we both have these baskets on our side of the bed that we like throw our knickknacks in and it helps things feel a bit more tidy and then every once in a while I go in and like organize the knickknacks so like these would go downstairs in the kitchen drawer these are systems that help me that's what I'm talking about if I don't have like organizational systems then I just can't do anything so like this is something that actually helps me stay pretty organized and when I do resets I also like to charge all of my devices like my airpods my watch gets charged every night but my iPad and my computer as well, my camera if I wasn't using it. Okay, now we're in my living room and it's also like our dining room area. This is not too bad. We keep this space pretty clean. Um, I, we have a few dog toys out. I'll probably leave them out. Um, typically, I fluff up the couch and put away the blankets. Obviously, always have a yarn stash there and I have some products that I was prepping over here at this table that need to go up to the product shelf. These are some baby bear hats I've been practicing making, so some of them are horrible, but these two are pretty good. Those are newborn sized. Um, these are going to go up to the product shelf. I'm probably going to go in my yarn cabinet because it is a spool of yarn and I'm not sure that I'm going to even keep what is on it. So typically with works in progress that are small like this, I just put them in my cabinet. We're going to organize that too, so it's fine. Okay guys, I'm sweating a little bit. My camera is going to die. So while that charges, I'm going to probably do a little bit of editing on my computer and then we will finish the tidying up portion of this. Then we'll do the cleaning and then we will work on the personal and business reset parts of this as well. Camera is charged. Just finished editing two videos, which is awesome. Um, I'm getting a little, a little shaky because <laughs> I need to eat. I had a lot of coffee and not a lot of food, so getting a little shaky. I'm going to eat lunch, and we're probably going to pivot to working on orders for Etsy. I have two orders that need to ship tomorrow. I like to always do them the day before because I drop them in the box near my house, and the pickup is at 10 a.m., and I'm never sure if, like, like, I think shipping tomorrow means, like, it needs to be moving tomorrow. So, like, if no one's coming to that box after 10 a.m., then it's just going to wait until the next day. I don't know. That's just what I try to do. So, um, I need to kind of have those done by today or at least, like, halfway done so that then I can, like, finish them in the morning. So, one of them is kind of big. So, we're going to do those real quick. And then I'm going to finish the... Um, declutter of the kitchen that's all we have left and then potentially go to the grocery store we really need groceries and that's part of the reset as well like cleaning out my fridge you know so i think that's the plan just a little mallard if you are new here I make and sell crochet like snugglers <laughs> he's a little floppy um, I call them loveys kind of because it was like a play with my name um, but most people know them as snugglers so he doesn't have stuffing in his body so that children can really like sleep and snuggle them a lot easier he is one of the orders that needs to go out um, tomorrow and the other one is a monkey um, but my arm is kind of cramping right now like my wrist so I'm probably gonna take a little break look at this eight. 
Are you an angel, Mackie? Yeah, you're a good boy. Okay. I'm so tired. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. <laughs> This is what I'm doing. Um, these are ice packs. I bought them a while ago and they work really well when my hands are getting a bit crampy from crocheting. So I'm going to do that for like 10, 15, 20 minutes. And then I'm going to start working on the monkey if I can. Um, I'm probably going to at least try to get the head of the monkey done and then finish some more of it in bed tonight. Um, but yeah we'll see how my hands are feeling and then we still need to go to the grocery store and do the rest of this reset <laughs> grocery store is done and now I'm going to start rapid firing on this kitchen so loading the dishwasher unloading the dish rack doing all that I have some plants in here that need watered we have some cardboard boxes by the door that our recycling is full because we accidentally missed the pickup last week because of the fourth we were like oh we don't need to put it out today and we forgot to put it out the next day so um they need to go somewhere until the next pickup and the next pickup is tomorrow but like our can is full right now so i can't do anything um so they're probably just gonna move to the <laughs> to the basement mac is crying at maybe this pineapple or maybe the potatoes he is a produce lover so well he's a food lover but he is very vocal and he just, he lets you know that he wants that food, especially if it's produce. And then I think we're grilling tonight. We have some chicken that we want to grill. Also, it's about to like storm. We're having so many random downpours from, I think like symptoms of the hurricane. So, and I'm in like Chicago. So <laughs> I have no idea why, but like the past three nights around this exact time, which is really weird, complete downpour at like 5 p.m. Like just out of nowhere too and then it's like 30 minutes downpour and it's done Okay guys, this is the finished kitchen. So dishes are gone from near the sink. I'm prepping a little bit of food. You got little Mac, that's his favorite spot there, right at my feet. <laughs> um, and then I vacuumed it in here because this is our main entry door. It's like our back door, but that's the one we come in and out of because our garage is detached in the back. So it gets really dirty on the floors in here, like crumbs and dirt and everything. So that was much needed and then I cleared off the counter. This place space isn't usually very dirty, but when we get packages and stuff, sometimes it can build up. So I'm watering my plant. She needed a good bottom watering. She's super shrivelly. I think she's a little hydrophobic and I can't reach the cabinet where this goes. So waiting for my boyfriend for that. Grilling tools. We don't really know where to put them yet. So they're just staying there for now. But I am happy that it's done. morning guys it is obviously the next morning and I finished the two orders so I finished the mallard on camera with you guys yesterday and then I finished the monkey as well he is super super cute 
and he's like the perfect size. This is more the size that I'm leaning towards for most of my loveys, um, but I don't really, like this one would be easy to adjust the head. Um, this one would be really difficult to adjust the head size and make it smaller, so um, I don't know that I could do all of them making them bigger, but I do wish his head was like a little smaller. I mean, I think it's like a good size. It just throws me off because my other ones are so much smaller. So I don't know. I need to see like a kid holding it and see like how big it looks. But the monkey is so cute. I haven't made a monkey in a while. Um, and I embroidered his eyes. Don't know if you can see them very well. Um, but I took some photos of him because the only other monkey that I have made is like a darker brown and I definitely want to do this brown instead of the darker brown because this brown is more reliable for getting the yarn color. The other yarn color, it's like a more dark caramel color, is very hard to come by in like all the yarn brands. So um, it's always sold out. So yes. I need to pack these up and run them to the post office. We missed, we missed the pickup for the local box. Um, I was planning on putting them in the local box that I can walk to. And then I realized that the monkey is going to have to go probably in a larger box than I usually ship my mini snugglers in. So I'm going to have to actually take him to the local post office even if it wasn't like past the time so then I just decided to you know obviously let the time pass and go later. We went to the gym this morning just ate I have a smoothie and finally getting into work mode so I am going to kind of change and get myself together a little bit and then we'll start with a little bit of a list we'll probably do some business resetting today and maybe some personal if we can get to it as well. I'm at my desk and Let's look at the list I made yesterday. Okay, so tags and tagging. This is, tagging is not usually something that I would like consider a part of my reset and it's not usually daunting. I like tagging, um, but I have been putting it off not because I don't want to do it because I know it's going to be time consuming because I need to design a lot of the tags and print them. So I kind of did a little bit of a revamp on my tags a few weeks ago, but I didn't do all of them. And I really need to like do all of them and make tags for, you know, new products that I'm going to be carrying and all of that. So that's going to be a little bit of this reset. Um, organizing my yarn cabinet, we'll probably start with that because that's like easy. It's just moving stuff around and reballing the yarn and delete photos and organize files and then some admin. So let's just, let's start strong. Let's organize the yarn cabinet. Okay, hopefully that's a good view. Here's what we're working with. So it's a little cray cray. So I got this cabinet pretty recently and um, <laughs> it was organized by color we've fallen a little bit off track but not too bad um i just need to re-ball all these like tails that you see hanging down uh consider taking out these work in progresses that you see that are attached or just you know put them up nicely any duplicates that are like really excessive or colors that i just will not use for a long time I'm probably going to remove them and put them somewhere else, but we will see. I'm going to start by grabbing ones that look really loose, like this gal, and just fix her up. I don't have a, like, what are they called, yarn winder. So this is going to take a little bit, and it's not going to be super good, but it'll be better than it was. Anything that's super small, I'm also considering, like, what I should do with it. I, I don't want to, like, remove it from the cabinet because then I feel like next time I go to look for a light pink, I won't look wherever else I store my small skeins. I'll look here and I'll end up starting a new one. So I have three semi-big skeins of the purple. So I'm going to remove oop, this one. And we're going to find a different home for it for now. 
And then I try to go too high. I try to put the bigger skeins on the bottom. So like for example, this one's like basically unopened and really big. So, and it has a long tail. So see, this guy has like a work in progress <laughs> attached that I just undid. Okay, whatever. This one. I don't think I want to keep either of them. I mean, it's cute, but it ended up being really curly because I was entering into the wrong part of the chain. And I realized I, I don't hate, but it does hurt my hands to work with thinner yarn, so. Oh, key doke. This one has a work in progress attached. So this should ideally move up. Well, I'm going to go, I think, like a rapid fire at this because I just got to get it done, you know. I'm trying to loosen this and put this through the hole. Here we go. <laughs> not good have you guys ever had a really bad knotted skein where it just for the life of you like you can't get it unworked oh my god I've had an orange one that took me like hours my boyfriend ended up helping me Okay, much better. I tried to roll up as many of the loose skeins that I could find, re-color code a little bit, and put the big skeins at the bottom. Um, so now everything is sitting a little bit better. And I pulled out these duplicates and a purple one, and I'm just going to move those to a different storage area so that this cabinet is as functional as possible on a daily basis. Okay, I guess I wasn't recording. <laughs> Um, I'm at my desk now and we are going to delete photos. So I take a lot of product photos on my phone and like videos and I take a lot of like duplicates or really similar shots and then at the end I go back and kind of like delete what I, or I mean use what I like, but I'm not super good about deleting them. So I need to do some maintenance on this. I have 3,822 photos, that feels like a lot, and 616 videos. I did have my sister's bridal shower two weeks ago and I do have all of the photos from her bridal shower on here and it's a lot. So that number is a bit high right now but still a lot of these are business stuff that can be managed. So per like product I'm going to try to pick around 10 photos and like two videos but if there's more that are like really good I'll keep them but a lot of them are duplicates. Like you can see this is what it looks like for my mouse lovey like it's so many so I'm just gonna go through and do that for a little bit and we will report back and see what number we can get to we're starting at 3822 for photos okay guys I I spent probably like 40 minutes maybe an hour I don't know um I'm a little tired because I was zoned in um, and I'm just tired today but the final number of photos I was able to get it down to not super good but I think better than I thought it was gonna do but not where I want to be is 3072 photos and 474 videos so 
I even took some like old photos of like me and my boyfriend off of here and like put them on my computer in like their own folder and I'm gonna do that with family too because that's like an easy one to group all like my family photos and then also Mac so once I do that it'll be a little bit better but the problem is, is I was really good about this. Um, I always try to do it like every few months, if not weeks. And then I ran over my phone and my phone wasn't backed up since like 2021. So all of the photos I had managed to kind of declutter and delete and everything, it went back to the very state that my phone was in in 2021, which are really old photos. And so I had already gone through those and sifted through them and moved them and deleted them. But, um, you know, over the course of two years, it was good. And so I not only lost photos, but I gained back old photos. And I felt like I was back, <laughs> back a step. I was like, oh, I have to go through all these again and decide which ones I want and don't want. So really annoying, but... Okay, and so after I clear out my desktop and then I go to my downloads folder and pretty much just make sure that whatever is in there has been moved to its destination. I'm pretty good about doing this as I download things, so, um, and I just did it when I moved photos from my phone. So we are good with the downloads folder and then I go to my trash and I just empty that trash because I'm not going back through the trash to make sure that everything that's in the trash is supposed to be in the trash. If it's in the trash at this point and it's not supposed to be in the trash, it is just, <laughs> it is, it's just the way it is. It's just not happening. So sayonara, I just kiss those goodbye. And then that is how I just do a quick photo and file organization. So we're going to check that off our list and next tags and tagging guys i don't know if i have the energy i'm so tired today i don't know if you can tell but let me look at where i left off on my tags last time i worked on them Okay guys, just finished printing and here are some of the new tags. So these are for, um, I'll be doing these for like more of my more popular loveys. So this is for the bear. It'll take me a while to get through these, but I have to print a whole page. Um, I guess I could modify it to have like half and half or whatever, but I just did a whole page. And then on the back, the text is super small, but these are going to be like little tags. So it has to be small, um, but it basically just talks about like, why they're safe for babies and then what they could be like the perfect gift for so kind of just putting people in that headspace um and yeah i think it's really cute i like the colors i don't really usually use a lot of these colors but i think like the traditional baby marketing colors are definitely cute so i'm gonna cut these into tags um as well as the Lindsay's lovey's ones and then we will tag some stuff Okay, and a few more things. This is going to be a little card that goes on like one of the pillars in my shop, just my QR code. And then these two graphics are basically what it says on the back of that tag I showed you about why it's baby safe and what they are perfect gifts for. Um, but this will probably go on like my pegboard just near the lovies. Um, so yeah, just getting a little bit more stuff up and around, informational stuff, brand stuff. Um, so it feels a little bit more like a shop. Wow, guys, that worked out so well. I packed up those orders and got in my car and was going to drive them to the actual post office because the box that the monkey goes in, like I said, is too big to go in our local drop box. And the local drop, drop box is like a street away, like it's a walking distance. And that's usually where I go. So it's at a 7-Eleven and it's on my way. And I was driving like it's literally 10 seconds away driving to the post office and the I saw the UPS, USPS truck there and I was like, I'm just gonna pull over really quick and ask him if he can take them. 
And then I was like, is that rude? I'm sure so many people do this to him. Like, does he hate this? So I like, sat there for a minute, like thinking, I thought there was something on my eye. Like thinking like, is this bad? Should I do this? Should I just go? It's like a six minute drive. Like it's really not that bad, but it would have been so convenient. So I was like, okay, I'll just give it a minute. And I just sat there for a few minutes and then he got out of his truck. Cause I was like, I don't even know if he's in there. Like I can't even see. He got out of his truck and then I hopped out and I was like, excuse me. And he like, didn't hear me. And then I was like, excuse me. And he's like, yeah. And I was like, I was going to put these in that box, which, you know, is kind of a fib because I wasn't, I was going to take them. Um, cause they don't, one of them doesn't fit, but I was like, I was going to put these in that box. Can I just give them to you? And he was like, no. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I literally said, oh, and I like backed up and turned around to like go put them in the box. And then he goes, no, I'm just kidding. Of course. And he like took them. He's like, here, I'll scan them too. And I was like, oh my gosh. So it worked so well. I didn't even have to go to the post office and three things. I didn't have to go to the post office. Two, um, I learned that the pickup is not a hard stop at 10 a.m. I mean, it probably depends on who does the route. Like, maybe this guy was just running late because he's a sub or something. It's, like, new, It's like 12.30, like, by the way, because you guys don't know, which is pretty late after 10. So I might have some flexibility, some leeway if I drop off packages after 10. And what was the other thing? <laughs> um, oh, and no, I don't know what the other thing was. There was three things, I swear, in my head, but whatever. Two's fine, too. I'm sure I'll think of it later. Anyway, I am going to take a quick lunch break. It's 1230, and then we will resume. Just finished my lunch and cleared up some storage on my SD cards. That was another little reset task that I have to do pretty often, but this time it was all of my footage from, like, setting up my shop, and typically I just delete footage from old videos and I keep the videos themselves. Um, but my shop setup footage, I wasn't sure if I'm done like creating with that footage yet, like creating content and stuff, or if I'm going to need it. So I actually moved it to my computer. So happy with that and then deleted it all off my camera. So feeling fresh with that. And now I have two yarn scrap baskets that I'm going to go through and pull out scraps that I will actually use and get rid of scraps that I just won't use. And unfortunately, um... Some of the, I don't even, some of the time, I don't even know what the words are. Some of the time, some yarn will be wasted. I wish I could do this like zero waste and make a little scrap blanket or something, but um, I really just can't. I tried to trim my tails as short as I possibly can for sewing purposes so that I waste as little as possible, but I hope nobody gets upset with me if I'm going to be discarding some yarn scraps. In this video of course there's a knot and it's just like whatever piece you pull it's not the right piece drives me insane and this blanket yarn like you cannot tell where it's coming from and it's always so intricate until it's not until it just unravels completely and then you're like it wasn't even a knot like, look, I bet if I found the right piece, I could pull this out and it wouldn't even be a knot. It's just like a fake knot. But if you pull the wrong piece, it's, it's a knot. See, it just came apart. I don't understand. Okay, so that's a really long piece and I will definitely use that. And then with this, I mean, go on. That's, I'm not using that. Uh, that's probably not. The only time I will save pieces that are shorter in length is if they are a color that I typically use for accent colors. What the heck is this? What was I working on in this green color that's this small? It's obviously like a, like an arm or, oh, probably a dino spike. I was like, really has to be something, right? Um, but I was saying the only colors I really keep for like, I would say like this length um, are like accent colors. So like colors that I would embroider noses with. Typically that's the only time it comes in handy. So white could come in handy on like a pink bear or something. Um, pink definitely comes in handy for like bunnies and like cats and stuff. Like this is way too short, so that's to get rid of. This is decent.
All right, guys. This is the pile we are keeping, and then this is what we're getting rid of, including the stuff on the floor. And we have another basket. This basket is less scrap heavy. This basket is like the basket where I put like random pieces of fabric. So I had like some random bow pieces that I thought maybe I could try to do something with. Uh, random pieces of fabric and then like when skeins are like really small I think this is what I ended up doing with them okay guys now we're in my bathroom and this is personal resetting so I'm going through these cabinets down here I don't know if you can get a good look here and we have like an open cabinet here and then we have a small pull out um, I am pretty minimal, so I don't keep a lot of stuff anyway, and I don't buy a lot of stuff, but occasionally things build up and need taken care of, reorganized, whatever. So, like, I bought a bow a few weeks ago for my sister's bridal shower. I wasn't sure I was going to keep it until I wore it, and then when I was trying it on, I put this in here just in case I wanted to return it. I'm going to keep it, so that can go in the garbage now. These I just found, and, I mean, they might be a little expired. Let's see wow they actually expire later this year so this is why i like to go through my stuff because i it reminds me of like what i've bought and i don't use and i should use so i'm gonna put these by my bed and try to be more mindful of incorporating them into my routine before they expire so that's a keep but needs to move my dog's nail clippers um we have a dog bin but it's so hard to access because it's unorganized so maybe leaving those here nail file keep but needs to be put away and then I think this is an empty pouch. I think I have a chapstick in here. I like to use pouches as like little organization, but maybe I'll do like zip. I save my Ziplocs for like trips because I will put my hair stuff in them. Um, <laughs> I try to be not wasteful. We don't really use uh, one use plastics if you don't use Ziploc bags. So when I have them, I hoard them a little bit and use them on trips for my hair stuff. So that's actually good to go in there. This has my tampons in it when I travel and stuff. There are some in there, so that's stocked. Um, these are my eyeliner pencils. I'm wondering if those should go in there. <laughs> Another little curtain bow. Like, why? What? Those are going to haunt me forever. I just found one in the yarn basket, too. <laughs> but no, it's so good. I can use them for gift wrapping, and I love it. A little hair tie, hair stuff that'll get put away. My travel toothbrush. I would love like an actual little container for this because this bag annoys me, but that's perfect. And then these are like samples that someone gave me. So I'm going to pull a few of these out and try to start using them in my routine. So I have light reviving eye cream, a few of those. Supreme reviving cream. So I'll pull a few of those out and use them this week. And what's this? Hydrating primer. That's fun. I want to try that. Okay, so that's a few of those. I have a conditioner bar. See, I didn't even know that I have this, and I'm actually running low on conditioner, so I'm going to pull that out to put in the shower. I really don't know what I'm going to do with this bag. I might just throw it away. Are there earrings in it? Woo! <laughs> Guys, stop. There was an earring in there. Why? That's so weird. Yeah, I did get these earrings from Majuri, but there's just one. <laughs> okay. Okay, we are in the green room again. Um, I'm going to take some clothes out and get rid of them, I think. Um, the stuff I have in here, I truly do not wear. But I keep in case it was like an occasion where I could wear it. And sometimes they come in handy. But a lot of it, I don't wear. Like, this is so cute. It would be cute if we were going somewhere fancy for dinner. I don't wear it. Um, so I don't know. And I have like this dress. I wore it for Easter a few years ago. But I, it's never like my first choice because it's kind of just baggy. Like it's just, it would be cute with like a belt. But I don't have one. So I guess I'm going to put it in a maybe pile. This is like a nice, uh, like if I went to a wedding dress so i'll keep it this is cute for just like 
summery dress vibes. I don't know, like, see, I'm just like, what's the point in getting rid of this stuff? The point of getting rid of this stuff is to help my mind feel less cluttered. Like, if my life is less cluttered, I always feel better. But it all has, like, a, a place where I could wear it. And then if I'm going to be struggling in the future to find an outfit for that place, I'm going to be annoyed with myself, you know? So, like, this would be, like, if we ever went to, like, a summery picnic or something, like... That would be cute. I don't know, guys. This is like a green like little like overall jumpsuit. I just like, I don't know if I'll wear it, but I think I'm going to put it out and like see, like try it on and like see if I'll wear it in the next few weeks and if not then it's just gonna be gone um so this is the pile so that's pretty good I mean that's like at least something right um so I'm gonna put this stuff in a bag put it in my car and take it to Goodwill next time I'm out I almost said to Joanne I mean next time I'm at Joanne I'll probably stop by Goodwill let's be real um so yeah but i think that is the end of this vlog i know this wasn't like my traditional crochet or like business really related vlog but i think it's fun to hang out anyway and this needed to be done so it motivated me to get it done i hope it helped you guys get a little bit motivated i know i didn't do anything too crazy but just fun to hang out together um but i will see you guys in the next video bye